Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for October. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this reading is for October. This is being recorded in September. It may resonate now, but I'm intending this to be for October. But then again, you know, you know, you know. So anyway, what do we have for Scorpio, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? You know, Scorpio, I feel as though you guys are going through some sort of, um, it's like a time of, uh, it's like finishing something up. You're finishing up something. There's been something that uh, needed to be finished for quite some time, and now you're at the end. You may be at the end of a phase, the end of a cycle. You're about to step into a whole new world, but in order to get there, you got to finish something first. So there's something that needs to be finished. I'm not sure what that is. I think that you may be, maybe you're letting go of regret. It's, maybe it's the end of stagnation. Um, maybe it's really time to look forward now. Maybe that's exactly what you're doing. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So maybe that's what you're, what's going on. Maybe you're going through a period of release. It's coming to the end. Maybe you've been holding on. I don't know. I don't know. This reading will not resonate with every single person. Okay? But I do feel as though we have somebody here that has been holding on. And now it's time to release. It's time to clear your energy. I see the end. Okay? I see the end. When I was talking a minute ago... I saw the world card, and that is an ending. It's a significant ending, an ending to a phase in your life. If you have been alone for a while, you know, that's about to change. If you have been in something that was coming to an end, it's finally going to end, okay? The, the end is near, okay? It's the end of whatever what was. You're about to step into a whole new world, okay? Um, Scorpio, I feel as I can see it, the world again. You guys may be traveling. Maybe you're moving to a different part of the world or you're traveling to another part of the world. You're about to start a new chapter, put it that way. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus because I just saw Taurus. So I don't know what Taurus has to do with you. Um, but you may be dealing with a Taurus. You may not be dealing with one. I don't know. Um... You may be getting into a new commitment because Taurus represents the Hierophant, which is commitment. Um, you could be receiving guidance from a Taurus. I don't know. Um, either way, things are about to look up for you because now I see the Nine of Cups. Like, okay, some sort of fulfillment is coming. You may be deepening a bond with somebody if you are completely single. I don't think you're going to be single for much longer. And I don't say that lightly. I really don't. I think a real love is going to come soon. Maybe this is the, the, the last step, okay? If you're single and you've been holding on to the memories and you keep looking back at your ex, then, you know, maybe it's time to stop. I don't know. I feel like um, deep fulfillment is coming. You guys are reaching the end of a, a significant phase in your life, put it that way. What do we have for Scorpio? Between between worlds, isn't that funny that I kept on talking about the world, okay? Between worlds, you're about to step into a whole new world. I can't make it up. You know that I can't. I'm going to read that one for you. Um, you are between worlds. You're about to step into a whole new world, which I, I was pretty certain about anyway. But um, transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, a no man's land. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place, between what was and what will be, is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. 
When you are between worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so, and you will not be disappointed. So, this tells me that when you release this situation fully, you will step into a whole new world. You notice, you go... F Seriously, this is a huge transitional period for you. Use it to your advantage if you are still hanging on by a thread. And I know that we have a lot of people in denial. It's time to let go of that thread. Because you have a major new beginning waiting for you. Take it. So Scorpio, what do we got for Scorpio for October? Something you need to let go. You need to let go of that unfinished business. And, you know, whatever. This is let go. <laughs> no kidding. The hangman reverse. This, that is let go. Stop hanging on by that thread. Okay. It's time to stop sacrificing yourself needlessly. It's time to stop stalling. It's time to step into this whole new world. Hard work, effort pays off. It's time to be happy again. It's time to let go of that happiness. I mean, let go of that emptiness and be happy. It's about happiness. Let go of the emptiness. If somebody pushed you away, or if somebody has been pushing you away, there's a reason for that. There's something better. Do not let yourself be naive. Do not be afraid to take risks. It's time for you to fly. It's time for you to experience new things. We have somebody here that is afraid to fly, afraid to take a risk. It's because whoever they dealt with in the past rejected them. Whoever they dealt with in the past, you know, didn't work well, didn't, was brought a lot of conflict into the relationship. It was a lose-lose situation. No matter what you did, you couldn't win. No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't win with this person. Do not be foolish enough to let that person hinder your, your success in the future because you have an opportunity to break free from this right now. I feel as though we have somebody here that has worked really, really hard. Somebody here that has an opportunity for abundance. You've gained a lot of strength. You've gained a lot of stamina through whatever this was. You were in some sort of conflict with somebody that kind of like brought you to your knees. But the skill that you have gained through that <laughs> is so much bigger than that whole situation. Trust me, it is. I feel if you have been single, if you have been single, if you're the single person watching this, you are not going to be single for long. I think that st somebody is about to step right up to the plate. This person uh, is going to take one look at you and they're going to be like, I want you. And I'm not just saying that. This person is very curious. This person is, is going to see your beauty. They're going to see your abundance. They're going to see your worth. This person um there's that Taurus I was talking about. Anyway, this person um is not gonna take advantage of you like the last one did. This person may be a little bit younger. There may be a, or there may be an age difference in either direction. But this person uh, speaks honestly, the person that is coming in. This person is has a lot of energy. This person is high energy. This person, what, it's like when they see you, they're going to be like, oh my God, what is that? That's what, I, that's what I see. It's like, oh my God. That's how they're going to feel when they see you. When they see you, they're going to be like, wow, I, what, what? You know, that kind of energy. Um... This person is the person that is going to come into your life. I I believe that this person is not going to be just looking for sex, okay? This person is not going to be just looking for sex like the last one was. 
okay? This person could be looking for a commitment. This is commitment material, okay? If you were in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. This reading is for somebody that has been struggling to release. This person is for somebody that is in between. They are in between. It's like this person is waiting for the one. I'm telling you something right now. Your hard work, your perseverance has paid off. Somebody is going to notice you very, very, very soon. And whoever this person is, they are looking for a commitment. I feel like you may be mistrustful and maybe you don't trust. Maybe you're, you feel like you can't trust anybody. You can't. And you've worked really, really hard to overcome the last situation in which, you know, you were betrayed. There has been, been betrayal. There may have been abuse in the past. Okay? Maybe you were abused. Maybe you were misled. Obviously, somebody here has been misled, which has caused them to resist letting anybody in. And, and, and it does have to do with an ex. Okay? They were misled by an ex. And now there's fear. There's fear and distrust over letting somebody in. I, I see that. But I feel like this month, you know, it's time. It's time to stop resisting. I feel like there is somebody that is coming in that is going to put in effort. And I feel like this, this may be somebody that you work with. You may meet this person through your job. Um, I feel like this person, it's like they can't take their eyes off of you once they see you. And you're going to need to uh, let your barrier down, let your guard down. Um, I see I see you guys fearful, fearful of getting into any sort of relationship. It's like, no, I don't want to play any games with anybody. I feel like you, you probably dealt with a player in the past, somebody that uh, kept you on your toes, and you're really, really, I see the fear. Okay, I see the fear. But I think that you need to have faith. I think that you need to believe. Believe that, you know, there are still good people out there because I think that whoever is coming in to your life, This person is probably a good person. Okay, this person, it appears to me like this person is spiritual. This person, it may be gifted. This person um, has morals. Okay, this person is ethical. Okay, so my, my advice is to give them a chance. But I feel like you're, you're having a hard time giving anybody a chance. You may not believe. You may not believe that there's any more good people in this world or whatever and I just feel like that but I feel as though um, you're afraid to make any poor decisions I think that you're avoiding it's like you really want if you, you if you could avoid a relationship or a commitment that would be best <laughs> you know it feels like you've been trying to avoid you're trying to you need to find the strength okay try to find the strength to give whoever this person is a chance I think, I think we have somebody here that is doing quite, quite, quite well on their own. They've worked really hard to heal over maybe even maybe even a narcissistic situation. Whatever it was, it was abusive. You may have been dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I'm not sure who you were dealing with, but whoever you were dealing with was probably abusive. And I feel like you're, you, you've taken done a lot of hard work. And, and now it's time. It's time. It's time for you to step over that finish line and live again and put yourself out there. I feel like we have somebody here that hasn't really been putting in a lot of effort to date or let anybody in. And my advice is to give this person a chance. This is an opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. It's like you're going to receive an opportunity that is really too big to pass up. Okay? This is something that you could really could really last. It could last a really, really long time. It's something that you can, you know, hold on to. It's something solid. It's something stable. It leads to the Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, plus one is Ten of Pentacles. It could make you very comfortable. You could end up, you know, having a lot of stability with whoever this person is that's coming into your life. You are going to receive that missing piece. This could be the missing piece, the thing that you have been waiting for. So, you know, this could be your yin-yang kind of thing. And I don't need the symbol to say that. 
I feel like you, you know, you, you have this tendency to want to avoid it because you were abused. I'm telling you right now, this is so big. Look at how big it is. This is a huge, huge, huge opportunity to go down a new path with somebody. Um, but you're reluctant, reluctant to allow, reluctant to take that new approach. You know, maybe you're, maybe you're letting your thoughts get the best of you. I can see these swords are thoughts, you know, your own negative thoughts, your own pessimism. You know, maybe, maybe you need to take a risk here. I think that you probably do. I think you're trying to avoid disaster at all costs. You know, you don't want to build any false relationships. You don't want to build any false uh, foundations, right? I can see that. I think that you're really, really afraid of getting involved in any false uh, anything. You know, you don't want any chaos, right? You don't want to play any games with anybody. You're ready. It's like, you're, it's like you know what? I'm bet I would rather be by myself than play with anybody. I don't want to play any games with anybody. I, would, you know, I almost feels like you were abused by somebody in the past. I, and like abused, okay? So there's like a contract here or a partnership that seems to be denied. It's like you're denying it. You're denying an opportunity with somebody that you could really uh, work with, okay? And maybe maybe you're doing that because you feel like you'd be better off on your own. Now, some of you may be going through a breakup right now. Maybe you're deciding that you're you're in a false sense of security and you want to break up. Okay, maybe it's time to break up from somebody. I mean, there could certainly be a breakup here. So maybe there's a bigger, better opportunity out there. And it's like, you know, I'm going to be by myself until the biggest opportunity comes. I mean, you could be dealing, somebody could be in an abusive situation where... You know, they're, they've been committed to this person and now there's something that happens that causes a breakup. There could be some sort of chaos or a third party situation that comes to light that says, you know what, it's time for me to go. So it is. I mean, there's, 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 a, there's a big change here. That's for darn sure. Okay. It's like there's something that is false that is being released. Somebody's been taken advantage of. I, I believe that somebody has been taken advantage of, whether they're still being taken advantage of right now or it's somebody in their past. And it's time to move on. And we have somebody here that has been reluctant to move on. Uh, why? Why? Because they were committed? Because, you know, they don't see that there's a bigger, better opportunity out there? Anyway, I do feel as though there's a big change this month. There's somebody could actually be going through the breakup this month. Or somebody is deciding to actually release somebody from their past. And there is a new, big, huge opportunity here. There is. That could lead to happiness. Somebody may be moving. They may be moving. It's like, you know, we can't, there's, there's incompatibility here. There's no union here. There's, there's no union with the false sense of security that somebody has been reluctant to let go of. You know what it is. Whether it's somebody that you are with now or somebody that you were with in the past, it's time to clear your energy because there is a big, huge opportunity here waiting for you to grab it, waiting for you to see it. And that's what I got. Good luck.